Okay, hello people, what's up? This is MHL Engineering, and this is, uh, tutorial 2 of, uh, learning Objective C. And today we're going to be using and displaying variables. Now that you know how to display some text with the NSLog or printf, they're a little bit different, um, we're going to be using some variables. Trust me, it, it's not that hard. A basic knowledge of algebra would help. Uh, it would. Because we're going to be using like x and y variables, but you can call them whenever you want. So, right here, just press enter twice. We're going to do int num1 is equal to 10. And always finish your line of code with the semicolon. So, what does this mean? Int means integer, um, a whole number, basically. We're calling that number one, and number one is equal to ten. What a variable means is basically um, their placeholders that hold data. Uh, in this case, we're holding a number, so number one is equal to ten. It's holding the number ten. Say we wanted to display that number ten. Well, we would uh, delete this, keep the uh, little uh, quotations, and we do then number is percent i now i don't know why they do percent that's just how you display it and the i stands for integer so it's like great okay let's run this see it displays the number is one but no because it doesn't recognize number one you have to do after after you close the uh, quotations you have to do comma number one or whatever you had named it. We could we could name this num one to make it shorter. So let's run this now. And sure enough, the number I hope you can see that. Sometimes the recorder cuts it off. The number is ten. So we can do that with multiple variables as well. We could do int num one num two equals twenty. So, we would go down here, delete this, the numbers are, percent i, i, and percent i. And like we did there, it's like, oh, that's great, there's a percent i there, but what do we display? So, for it to recognize that, you would have to do num2. So, we would run this. Oh, I forgot to close the semicolons. And sure enough, the numbers are 10 and 20. Program exit with code 0. Successful. Um, so that was basically how to display variables. I hope you enjoyed. Um, you see, these, these tutorials are going to be pretty short and to the point and pretty fun. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.